welcome to Andrea's Kitchen. Tonight I'm making an easy, flavorful chicken cacciatore and I'm making it from a rotisserie chicken from Costco. Okay, the first thing I will do is put a little olive oil in my pan. And I've had it on for a little bit so the oil should heat up pretty quickly. try spinach. I've never had spinach in this before. <coughs> and also, I usually do like chicken bone, bone in chicken thighs, but this time I'm using um, rotisserie chicken and I think it's going to be delicious. Put the uppers in. I don't put the garlic in right away because I don't want it to burn. It burns easily. So let that saute for a few minutes. And while that's sauteing, I'm going to chop up the parsley a little bit. for the, the top of the meal at the end. Okay. <laughs> and I also um, have baby spinach that I'm going to do a rough chop. chicken breast from the rotisserie. Um, I pulled it all apart, made sure there was no bones in it. And for the sauce, I'll be using San Marzano uh, chopped tomatoes. <clears throat> Just a couple more minutes till the peppers are softened. And then I'll start making the rest of the sauce. I also have huge mushrooms that I'll be chopping up. And of course, if you don't like mushrooms, you don't have to put them in. I am the only one in my entire household who likes uh, mushrooms. Thank you. 
and now add a little garlic. saute for like a, a minute or two. I'm going to cut these in half. Peppers are nice and softened. Garlic's almost ready. It's not burning on the bottom. This pan, I don't know why, it's the only pan that does that. Looks like it's burning, but it's not. Anybody know how I can get that off easily? Let me know. <laughs> it's a pretty, it's only the second time I've used this pan. I don't know why it does that. But. Okay, now I'm going to add the spinach. Bunch of the parsley, and the mushrooms, for a few minutes. Okay, after a couple minutes, I'm going to add in the chopped tomatoes. Then another half a can of water. And then the seasonings. I have um, a teaspoon of onion powder, I have um, a half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of salt, or more if you like more salt, <clears throat> half a teaspoon of pepper, black pepper, Oh wait, what did I forget? I forgot basil leaves. I have a half a teaspoon of basil leaves also. All right, then you mix it all in.
Mmm, smells good. Mm. And the final thing is to add the rotisserie chicken. Stir that in. And I have um, a pot of white rice, rice that I made that we will spoon that on top of the rice when this is all done. And you can put this on medium for like a half hour and it's done. <clears throat> I'll see you when it's done. Okay, turn it off now. Done. So I'll get a little bit of white rice. A little cheese on top. My, my mom's old cheese grater. <laughs> Older than I am. Okay, a little bit of parsley on top. And that's it. Chicken cacciatore with peppers, rotisserie chicken, onions, diced tomatoes over rice. Give it a try. No, time to try it. I already tried a little bit of it, to be honest with you. Um, I ended up adding a full teaspoon of salt instead of a half. That's up to you. Um, if you like it a little on the spicy side, you can add red pepper flakes or a little bit more black pepper, that's up to you. So good. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good night.